Hey, what's going on guys? Hope that everyone will be fine. All right, so in this video, we are going to talk about the image zoom in and zoom out. So this video is off the cuff. So, um, so it's just a lesson you guys can learn about how to zoom in and zoom out. So um, if I just refresh that, now you see that the size of the image remains the same. And if I want to show you, if I go to the inspect element and uh, just, just want to show you the the uh, size for the image and go into the computed and you see here the width is 278 pixel all right and uh, so it's 278 cross 252 so the width and the height and uh, if i go and click on the resize button now you see the size of the image increases right and if I reset that, so that will mean this is the same. So that's what we are going to build. And plus, there is a bonus. Bonus, uh, um, you can say to have. A, I just actually add two numbers to the, using the JavaScript. So if I just um, add two plus two and click here, they want to give us both. So that's giving you an idea that how we can pick the IDs for the two inputs and show into the output. All right, so let's get started, and I hope you guys will enjoy. All right, guys, so I have the image folder already created and inside the image, I have the picture. So whatever you have inside yours. So, all right. So you can have your picture here if you want. So um, here we already have the IMG folder and I want to create a file for the index.html. We are our whole main cool sign for there. OK, so inside the index.html and if I put up the explanation of the tab, if you guys need to install the Visual Studio Code, I already have explained in my all, all videos so that you can easily um, uh, watch and see the benefits of using Visual Studio Code. But uh, I, I still suggest you to, install, to just install and just go to the Visual Studio Code, type it, read first link, Visual Studio Code predefined. So here now we have a very simple metadata for the HTML and inside that I want to do is uh, I, I want to give the heading and that set that to the image uh, zoom in slash zoom out all right and uh, just uh, down there we have our image so if I just simply put img on the tab and inside the img folder I have the abnation.png is the format for my image and it's depend on yours okay so now I want to do is uh, I want to go on top and uh, just do some styling for the image tag so let's get inside the so i have the style in, i have internal css for that and i have img my tag for the image and i want to give that img uh, to be a border and set that to be two pixels solid and color to be dark gray all right and i want the margin to be uh, 30 pixels and the uh, padding inside the is to be 20 pixel all right and i want to give some heading to the h1 all right so for the h1 uh, i want to align my text to the center and i also want the color inside to be white which is hash strip left and uh, background again to be dark gray okay and the last thing is the padding i want to be 20 pixels all right if i just save that and i already installed the v, uh, if you go to the extensions and they, if you type live server you can easily install so i have already installed i'm not going to do that so if you right click on uh, right click on it and open with the live server and it's automatically open here so we have our very very um, basic image and the deep borders and so Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is to um, add another file for the JavaScript, which is the app.js. So inside the app.js, we are going to create all the script JavaScript where we can zoom in and zoom out the images. So first, I want to create some buttons here. So down there, I want to create two buttons. First for the uh, resize button and the uh, second one for the um, reset. All right. So I created the two buttons and inside those two buttons, I want to use the on click function. 
So I'm using on click equal to the name of the function. So the first function name is the resize function, all right? And for the second one, I'm going to use the on click. Sorry, I missed K here. Okay, all right. So for the second one is the reset function. So reset function, and also I I need to bring those parentheses. So now inside, uh, I also want to give the source to the app.js file. So I created the script for that and uh, source equal to app.js. Sorry about that. Okay, app.js. And now inside the app.js, um, I need to do the, uh, um, I need to create a function for the, um, for the resize image. So here, function resize, um, it's resize, I believe. Sorry, it's not, it, actually it's not a, Good one. It has to be resized in it, right? So I'm using a camel case here. So resize and the reset image. All right, that's that's more that suits to that. Okay, so uh, inside the uh, resize image, I want to have the variable which is const. Const means that that you cannot use that variable again. So const mean constant that it cannot be reinitialized the same name. So here I'm going to have a, um, a const, the name of the variable, which is image, and uh, I'm using the document dot get element by id. And um, if if large much of you are not, is not are not familiar what actually document dot get element by id is, so the reason is why I've been using there. There are two properties for the DOM manipulation. And the, for, this is for the get element by ID. If we are getting through the class, we use get element by class, right? By class name. So hey, you see that get element by ID is just because we have our, actually, I missed two things here. The first thing I need to uh, give the ID as well. So here, I wanna give the ID equal to IMG1. That this is this is the ID which we are through where we can get the value. So document dot get element by ID and inside that I'm using IMG one which is a ID and uh, uh, down here the variable what we use here you see the image and for the image uh, we want to style for its width. So the width I want to give it the size. To be 300 pixels and uh, grab that from just copy it and paste it down here and change that width to be high i hope you guys understand what's going on okay so um, that's very simple function for the uh, resize image and now the for the reset and uh, if i just paste it down here now i want to change the size for the width and the height the reason why I want to change because I want that size of the image to be remain the same. So if I go to the inspect and um, uh, now you there you see that it, it sizes uh, 278 cross 252 pixels. So just make it down so you guys can see properly. Um, actually, just right there. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so 278 cross 252 pixels. So uh, if I just uh, change that to 278 and down here i want to change that 252 and uh, px for there okay so if i save that and we have already called the function so if i just refresh that here and now you see it works but actually i forget to uh, so resize and uh, set that to be reset all right, so now if I resize it and reset it, it's still not working. Let me see why it says reset image is not defined. All right, so let's, all right, I just need to change the name to reset image. All right, so now if I refresh that and let's see. All right, so now you see the size for the image is now increased. So if I just vary its size to like, I want to set that to be 600 pixels and 500 pixels, just make it more bigger in size. So now you see the size of the image vary according to the size of the pixels. 
all right so i hope you guys understand and now let's move to the next thing we need to add the end now just just i forget to bring it back to the reset okay so now let's start for the bonus topic which is the add uh, two numbers in javascript so index.html is the name for my second file and just move inside that i use the explanation mark and the tab and just change that to add two numbers in js okay so i want to grab it from the heading from there okay so grab it from here and uh, i want that h1 styles to be inside the index 2.html so the, inside the head tags i'm using styles and here i just paste it okay so let's see uh, so i'm going to open with the live server so just change the text to be add two numbers in js so add two numbers in javascript all right now if i just refresh that it automatically redirects to that okay so now for the add of adding for the two numbers um inside the body down to the h1 uh i want to give it the uh, value the, for the first value let's see if i use here input and type equal to text and um id equal to value one and uh, placeholder i want to give the placeholder enter number enter value one and same here if i just grab that and paste it down here and change that id to be values for the two enter value two and um, i also want the output so here input type equal to text and there i want the output so here i have the output and let's see the results even though i don't want to give the placeholder here so it's better to have here the so output okay so let's get inside the app.js file i just forget to bring here the source so script source equal to app.js and uh, just move inside the app.js so there i have to create another function so i just want to command this for the add to numbers just for the reference so you guys can see add to numbers and this these are the two functions for the uh, zoom in zoom out all right and let's kind of go down here and um, i want that function add number and inside the add number we have our first const and set that to be val1 equal to as i explained you now this parse and is for that that is this this actually function is required to convert the uh string into the integer so we use parse in so inside the parsing i want the document uh, dot get element id to fetch the id from the input fields so which is uh, value i believe value one yeah value one dot value for whatever the value we get from the input field so if i grab that and paste it down here and change that val1 to val2 and same case for the id here and uh, now i want to output the so const output equal to the document dot get element by id and inside the id um set that to be um, i believe um, uh it has to be output i think yeah output and uh now here i want that output dot value and equal to add the two numbers which are val1 plus val2 all right now save that and let's see how, is that working fine 
So if I add 23, 23, and actually we don't have any submit button here. So for that, um, uh, actually 23 into 23. Oh, I actually, for, uh, yeah, button is missed here. So if I go into the index.html and down here, I want to have a button as well. And I also forget to call the function, the on click function we use. So inside the button, um, I, I actually don't use the button here. Input type is button. So value equal to so for that, um, I'm using on click function. So on click, and uh, for the on click, uh, just 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 wait for a while. Actually, I uh, forget the name, which is add number. Yeah, add number, and there we go. Okay, now if I just go to the inspect and just to see everything looks fine. Okay, so if I put 12, 23 and click here, that gives us no NN, which is not a number. Let's, it's working fine, okay. So uh, again, I forget to have here value equal to submit. Okay. So let's do it again, 23 into 23, 46. And if I put more numbers, that wanna give us that. But if I want 0 0.0, and let's suppose 0.5, which is not an integer number. And that one, I, that will remain the same. And uh, so that's not added. So to change that, we can also do like app.js and change that parse into parse float same here okay so if i just refresh that now if i put up here 2.5 and now it's 4.5 so just see how easy it's to add two numbers in javascript so that's it and uh, if you guys like and um, enjoy this video, please leave a like if, and do subscribe if you haven't. So that's it for this video. I want to see you for the next time.